every year on my birthday, I write a letter to my future self. It started when I was 15 years old, writing a letter to my 16-year-old self, and has continued all the way up until last June, when a newly 27-year-old Kira penned a letter to her still-to-be 28-year-old self. Good evening, Toastmaster members and guests. My name is Kira Murphy, and tonight my task was to pre present a speech about a mentor of mine. And I promise I'll get to that, but I'd like to begin by sharing a few stories from some of those more recent letters that I wrote to myself. Let's begin by taking a short trip down memory lane to 2017. I was 22 years old, fresh out of university, and in the midst of one of the least enjoyable years of my life. I just started my first big girl job, and I hated it. The job wasn't a fit. The company wasn't a fit. The role wasn't a fit. I spent a lot of my time crying in the office bathrooms and feeling lower than I'd ever felt before. Not a pleasant year to say the least. And that was something that was reflected in the letter that my 22-year-old self wrote that year to 22-year-old me. Here's a snippet from that letter, and I quote, I hope things have changed by the time you read this, and that you'll look back at the current trials and tribulations and laugh at how trivial it all seemed, because you're now living your best life. Most of my hopes and dreams for you are that you're in a better place work-wise. The long and short of it is that I don't enjoy my current job and I'd really like for that to change. At 23, I shifted career for the first time. I got a qualification for teaching English as a second language, which led to me moving to Australia and into a job better than I could have ever imagined. Picture this four hours every morning teaching English, and then spending the afternoons chaperoning activities for my amazing students. Things like beach volleyball, mm. rock painting, visits to the national park, Australian food tasting. That's right, I was getting paid to mm. sit on a beach, paint rocks, and eat lamingtons. Definitely no crying in the bathrooms anymore. I had done what I'd said I was going to do, and I was making 22-year-old Kira proud for it. Flash forward to the end of June 2020, four months into the pandemic, and I was back living at home with my parents in a country I'd never lived in before, with no friends around, and barely leaving the house at all. It's no exaggeration to say that the most social interaction I had that year was with the neighbor's cat. <laughs> and as much as I love him, it goes without saying that he's not the best conversationalist. So again, not a fantastic year for me. I blew out the candles on my 25th birthday and wrote this in the letter to my 26-year-old self. A very happy birthday to you, and I hope this year's celebrations are a lot better than the last, though I'm not complaining. I hope you're somewhere new and exciting with people who are there for you and that you're happy. At 26, I took a long shot and moved to Italy to live on the stunning shores of Lake Como and wake up to pretty much the same view that George Clooney wakes up to when he's there. <laughs> I took things into my own hands and really pushed myself out there with meeting people to make the most of my short time there. During that year, I had more on my social calendar than I could even fit into the week. I had a camera roll put full of pictures of stunning vistas, a stomach full of delicious pizza, pasta, and gelato, and a heart full of amazing memories made with my incredible new friends. I was somewhere new and exciting with people who were there for me, and I was happy. I was making 25-year-old Kira proud. So back to the present and my task for this evening to tell you about a mentor of mine. When I was thinking about this, I found myself at a bit of an impasse because 
To be honest, I don't think I've found a mentor yet, at least not in the traditional sense of the word. I haven't had any great teachers who've inspired me or any higher ups at work who I've learned a lot from, nor even any YouTube gurus who I live vicariously by. I realized the more that I thought about it, that the person that I've learned the most from is myself. <laughs> 15-year-old Kira urging her 16-year-old self to do well in her exams. 22-year-old Kira wishing that her 23-year-old self would prioritize finding a job that would make her happy. 25-year-old Kira willing her 26-year-old self to, find, to go somewhere new and exciting with people new and exciting. The hopes and dreams that I had for myself when I wrote those letters led to the situations and places I was in when I read them back. I am who I am because of who I was. I won't spoil what 27-year-old Kira wrote to her 28-year-old self because I still have a few more months before I get to read that letter. <laughs> but I'll finish with a quote from the letter that I wrote almost nine years ago on my 19th birthday. I was writing to 20-year-old Kira and all the iterations of me that were still to come when I said, Dear Kira, I have big hopes and dreams for the future, so try to make your life the best it can be. Work hard, have fun, do more. If our life isn't worthy of a TED Talk by the time it's over, I'll be disappointed. <laughs> Replace the word TED Talk with Toastmasters, and I think we're well on our way. Yeah.